In this video, we will cover the process of creating, using, and editing presets. Presets are where you will create basic looks such as position, color, and focus that you will use over and over again when programming your show. The first preset we will create is one for the color blue. It's up to you what fixtures you want to select, but most programmers find it best to select all of them. So we will select all of our fixtures and set them in blue. If you have fixtures that do not have color mixing, you will have to set it manually using the color wheel attribute. Once we have all of our fixtures into the color blue, we will press edit preset to enter preset editing mode. There are several options when storing a preset, so here's where you want to pay close attention to your options. There are three save modes. The first save mode is current attributes. This will record all the attributes in the selected attribute category. This means that if we save in this mode and we have color mix selected, it will save all the color mix attributes if you made changes or not. This is a great option for color presets because it will store all of the values that are also at zero, like red and green, and make sure that it brings up the correct color when you recall it. In certain cases, for instance, when you are using a fixture with a color wheel, this option won't work because the color wheel is on a different attribute other than color mix. The next option is all attribute. This will record all the attributes of all the selected fixtures. This is the option you would use when you want to take a snapshot of exactly what your selected fixtures are currently doing. What makes this option useful is that it records everything, so no matter what the current selected fixtures are doing, this will override it. Because we are currently working on a color preset, this option also doesn't work for us because we want it to be color only, and this option records everything. The final save mode is changed attributes. This records only the attributes that you have made adjustments to. You can see the changed attributes because they are ones highlighted in green. Now in order for us to record our color preset, we will have to go into color mix and also set the red and green values to zero, which we had already completed before. You will now see that the red, green, and blue, as well as the color wheel values, are all highlighted in green and set to be recorded. Now before you get too excited and save your preset, you will have to make one last decision, and this is what mode you wanted to save the preset in. The normal mode is what you will use most of the time, and this requires the preset to be used only with the selected fixtures. Essentially, what you put in is exactly what you get out. This is what we will use for our preset. The other mode is global. This would take changes made to a single fixture and apply them to any other fixture of the same model type. Now you are finally ready to store your preset by tapping on the location of where you would like to store it. A dialog box will pop up and ask you to give it a name as well as a fade time. We will leave this at zero. Then press confirm and we have created your first preset. For a new programmer, this will take some time to fully understand how and when to use each of these options. In our printed manual, there is a description of each of these modes and how they work. In the beginning, we suggest taking it out of the trash and keeping it under your console so you can pull it out for quick reference. Now, when recalling presets, there are two ways to do it. With no fixtures selected, you can press the preset and it will bring up all the information in the preset. Now, when recalling presets, there are two ways to do it. With no fixture selected, you can press the preset and it will bring up all the information in the preset. You will notice with our blue preset, nothing happens. This is because we did not store any dimmer into our preset. But watch what happens when you select all the fixtures and bring up the dimmer. All the fixtures come up in blue. This is the reason we call them presets. It is because we have now preset these lights to come up in blue. Now we will clear this out and bring up all the lights with their default locate values by pressing fixture open full. When we select the blue preset, the lights immediately change to blue. Now let's do this again 
but this time let's pretend we are in a live situation that you haven't rehearsed the show and the singer on stage starts singing a ballad and you want to change the color of everything to blue. But this time with some finesse and feeling because if it flashes too quickly, the audience is going to look back at you and give you dirty looks. So here is a stage with all these white lights. To change the color to blue cleanly, we make sure that the preset function key is enabled and we simply press the number four for a four second fade. Then press on the blue preset that we just created and the console will use this input to override any existing time data. 